Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tennis Euphoria and today I'm bringing you my review of the Wilson Clash 98 version 2. So I haven't posted videos about the Clash line before because I think that the Clash lines are excellent um, for certain populations and I think they have some really strong characteristics but sadly those characteristics are a little bit lost on me. So in general terms who is the clash floor i think it is um, a decent option for people who require comfort perhaps um, people who have uh, prone to injury perhaps people who are aging and need to be mindful of comfort i also think the clash line across all of its ranges are good for um, your sort of intermediate to steady um, club players who are looking for um, stability um, don't want to customize rackets and are looking for relatively good power and spin almost kind of um, bar babble at benefits without breaking your arm um, but I also think that the clash has a place for um, modern uh, players junior players who play with um, semi western grips and lots of spin because I think um, the rackets do offer good power um, good spin and um, you can develop a, a modern game well with the clash line so they are a little bit lost on me generally because um, I value um, control and precision and trust slash reliability in a racket primarily and I've always felt that with the clash line whilst you get good power and spin and of course that great comfort and also um, really good stability which I think goes underreported, and I think that's quite clever in the clash line um, I've never felt that you get a totally reliable response from any of the string beds um, and I always found myself to just not feel confident in point play playing with any clash racket um, I'd end up sort of going for targets that were too big and I just um, would lose the sort of mental game and, and not play particularly well but I retained a Clash 98 previous version because uh, for me head size um, the smaller the better when it comes to control so the 98 was the closest to a good control stick and I had a dream period where both of my children were um, showing a lot of interest in tennis and so I was hand feeding a lot of balls um, to them as they were um, sort of learning the game um, sadly their passion has waned so I can't live my dreams through them um, but I thought the Clash 98 was actually a good option if you're doing kind of lots of um, feeding and, and coaching. So the version 2, there are some improvements here that could make it um, more of an option for people who are perhaps looking for uh, more of a player's frame. Uh, the changes here in this version 2, 98, we still have that 98 head size, meaning a little bit more control, still has all of those clash characteristics, I can confirm. So you still have a powerful racket, certainly next to uh, the rackets that I would typically play with in the control sort of arena, um, and you have plenty of access to spin the changes are a uh, extra string so you've got a 16 by 20 string bed um, and you have a slightly stiffer setup this would still come into a sort of soft and flexible category at 60 ra but the previous was almost a little bit ridiculously flexible at 55 and despite me liking a uh, relatively plush and soft feel i think that was a little bit too extreme and you just lost a little bit of connection um, to the ball um, I do think that this Clash 98 um, has improved the reliability of the string bed. Um, I think it is quite noticeable um, that that extra little bit of um, stiffness gives you um, perhaps a little bit more pop when you flatten out your strokes um, with this Clash 98. And also I think you just feel a little bit more in touch um, and in command of where the ball is going. So I was finding that you could um, you know, hit out a little bit with a bit more confidence. Um, so um, to demonstrate, I suppose that I think this is well suited to people with different, different technique to mine. Um, here's me changing my grip to a semi-western, opening up my stance on a forehand and hitting out as a more modern player would do. And I think that the 98 actually works really well. You know, great launch angle, um, still get loads of spin. Um, but broadly speaking, you can sort of hit the ball where you want it to go. Um, here's the previous version, just trying to hit out a little bit cross court. Um, and then on a deep ball, just trying to be defensive um, and deep. You know, okay. But 
I think with the new version, certainly I'm more confident to get a better angle um, on my attacking shots. Um, and here's the old version again. I always felt that actually the spin or the cut down on the ball on the old version was um, particularly um, strong, and that's a good thing if you play with um, you know nice semi western grip. But with me, I actually wouldn't get amazing depth with the 98 because the ball would cut down quite quickly. Um, I think great improvement on the version two. Uh, my slightly flatter technique with that 1620. Um, string pattern and the slightly stiffer RA means that I get a little bit more natural sort of penetration on the ball and a little bit more depth. I also felt just overall that I could hit my targets just a little bit better um, with this. Felt a little bit more in touch, a little bit more trusting of the response um, and I could kind of get into more of a groove just sort of hitting down the line um, going for depth down the line forehands in this drill um, um, I still find myself with with any clash going for bigger targets than I typically would with um, a racket that I would take into uh, a match situation but I did feel that generally speaking it was improved and certainly depth you know comes easy um, playing with it for um, a couple of weeks um, they it, it does remain a bit of a a string breaker I was noticing where um, and, and I did restring again went with um, head links tour 52 pounds um, and I went through um, two sets it was just sort of dropping tension um, I actually would be tempted to string higher than I usually would in tension with the clash lines obviously it is comfortable but I just feel that adds a bit of reliability I usually string quite low but I'd go 52 53 pounds in in the uh, clash 98 um, and once I started to play some points with it. One benefit is I think you can hit a bigger serve with a Clash 98 next to um, a comfort line that you might be considering um, other sort of 98 square inch head sizes. Um, and it is it is actually pretty fast through the air and quite maneuverable. So whilst you've got that fairly big swing weight of um, 332 with this while strung over grip etc. Um, I didn't find that that made it sluggish at all so that is um, a positive and this doesn't need any customization you know you've got a very stable setup um, all the plow through that you need really um, I do think though um, that ultimately it's a little bit lost on me still um, I feel much more um, comfortable um, trustworthy confident with an all-out thinner beamed um, control orientated frame which would allow me to just um, uh, hit with full strokes um, and hit with confidence that the ball is going to go where it's going to go I did find that I had to be mindful um, of my technique I would abbreviate my swings a little bit to make sure that the ball didn't sail um, and, and I think that you know if I was someone who hit with a semi-western forehand then I wouldn't have those concerns so much so I think that Broadly speaking, the characteristics um, remain. You know, this um, 98 would be the one to go for if you are an, an aspiring and up and coming player who's still looking for comfort and is starting to want more control. Or maybe this could be, you know, a fantastic option for someone who's used to player frames who's now needing to look for a very comfortable, flexible racket, perhaps because they're, you know, they are aging um, or have had um, uh, injury issues. So, um, a decent update, I think. Uh, certainly a more player frame orientated clash. Uh, wouldn't be switchable for me, but I dare say I might keep this one just in case um, my kids do get back into tennis and I need something to go and hit thousands of balls um, hand feeded down, um, down baselines. Um, it might save my arm in the long term. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a like. Plenty more reviews coming up. I've got a little bit more time for the channel this year so be hearing loads more from me thanks for watching <laughs>